In this video, we'll start demonstrating the practical parts of Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So what we'll be going over in this video is creating an Azure Sandbox environment using WizLab Sandbox, viewing the dashboard and the overview page of Microsoft Defender for the Cloud, which concludes the critical issues and details of the environment security, viewing the recommendations according to the policies and regulatory compliance standards to improve the secure score, viewing, editing existing regulatory compliance standards, or adding new standards. Viewing the security alerts to expose the security threats to the environment. Viewing all resources categorized as healthy and unhealthy resources according to the assigned and unassigned recommendations. View security posture and learn how to check and improve the secure score for all environments. Adding other non-Azure environments and cloud solutions to the security system of Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So let's start. Before starting with Microsoft Defender for Cloud, I would remind you that you can practice and apply practical parts of any video or any course on wizlabs.com by using hands-on labs or cloud sandboxes. Furthermore, for this course, you can create a sandbox for Azure by clicking on Cloud Sandboxes and going down to choose Azure Sandbox. So that is how to create an Azure Sandbox environment. Let's destroy the current Sandbox environment to show how to create a new one. So the first thing to do after destroying the old Sandbox, and if this is the first time on this page, choose the time. So to start creating the Azure Sandbox environment, click on the drop-down menu and choose the available time, which is three hours, and then click on Create the Sandbox Environment. And this will start the process of creating the Azure Sandbox environment. It will start creating the credentials needed to log into the Azure environment. It will take a while to load, and you'll be able to use these credentials to log into your account at azure.com. It has already finished creating the credentials that you will use to log into your account. After generating it, you can click on the Open Console. I'll open it in a new private window because I've already logged into my account. But if you don't have an account, you can use the credentials here to log into the sandbox you create using wizlabs.com. Here we've logged into Microsoft Azure using the provided credentials. And there are also the three resource groups we have. If we type resource groups in the search bar, you can see the resource groups created by wizlabs.com. So let's get back to our account. Here is the main page of Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So let's get started. The overview section shows the most important notifications and features to see as a conclusion or a summary of the environment security status. And here we can see the Azure subscriptions, assist resources, active recommendations, and security alerts. And we do not have any security alerts at the moment. Security posture or security score according to the assigned recommendations and attached paths of the environment. And here's also regulatory compliance, or we can say the compliance of your environment with the international regulations and standards provided and customized by you, or the default initiative, which is the default regulations of line across your environments. We also have workload protections and resource coverage of 100%. We don't have any threats now or security alerts. And for inventory, we have eight resources categorized as unhealthy, healthy, and not applicable resources. We have seven unhealthy resources that could be healthier and more secure by following the recommendations. So to show the current recommendations, we click on the recommendations tab on the sidebar and it will show the current secure score according to applying the recommendations and we still have unassigned recommendations that if we assign them, we will get a higher secure score and improve security. For example, you can see security management ports. And if I click on this recommendation, you can see that this recommendation tells me to close the management ports for virtual machines and has a severity of medium importance. And we also have the remediation steps that we can take to apply these changes to our virtual machines. So I have this recommendation because I already have a virtual machine. 
So if I show you my resources, you can see that I have a virtual machine. If we return to our recommendations, we will see that this recommendation exists because I already have this virtual machine. And according to the policies and regulations I have in my environment, I got this recommendation to make the virtual machine goes along with the security policies and regulations to become more secure. These recommendations are available according to the resources and the policies we have. It assigns the policies to the resources to give you the recommendations as a result, as shown earlier in this lecture. So let's go ahead and have a look at the applied policies by going to the environment settings and then choosing the root group. And here are the security policy settings. Here we have a default and initiative or default security benchmark that is used in a default way to produce the recommendations page and other industrial and regulatory standards that you can disable or add more standards to be applied to the resources. So if I click on add more standards, I can choose a policy to add to the currently applied policies across environment resources and see how secure my resources are according to the secure score that works as an indicator for environment security. So let's go back to the main page and go to accept the other tabs we have here. The overview is the page where you'll get the most important details about your environment. Getting started section. If this is the first time for you to use Microsoft Defender for Cloud, we also have the recommendations tab. And these are the recommendations created by the policies applied to the environment. Security Alerts tab, and in this section, you can get the security threats to your environment. Currently, we don't have any threats. And Inventory, you can see all the resources we've created, and every resource has its recommendation in front of it, and completed recommendations. Here we have completed 7 recommendations out of 39 recommendations, and so on. We have 7 unhealthy resources, which I haven't applied any recommendations to them. Cloud Security Explorer, Community, Workbooks, and so on. So what we need to be prepared for the exam in the site menu is the Cloud Security and Management sections. The first tab we have in the Cloud Security section is Security Posture, which shows us the secure score in the Security Posture. We can also get the secure score over time, which shows us the change in the security score over time, the governance report, and so on. We can also check the score for every environment, which means that if you have more than one environment, you'll find this list of environments, and every environment has a secure score in front of it. Also, you'll be able to get recommendations to increase the secure score of every environment. We also have regulatory compliance, which is the regulatory compliance of your environment with the international regulations and standards and policies you have chosen to apply to your environment. And we have some applied regulations, such as New Zealand ISM. This set of regulations is new to the environment and newly added by me as a test. After applying the regulation, you can wait up to 30 minutes to start getting the secure score and the recommendations according to the regulations you've applied to your environment, and also the score of how compliant your environment with this set of regulations is. Let's go on to the workload protections. This is a threat and coverage of workloads and we don't have any threats for now. The next tab is Firewall Manager, where we can manage firewall and link the firewall with the resources. Then we have the Environment Settings, where we can change the environment settings. We've added one environment for Azure. We can add more than one environment outside Azure, such as AWS accounts, GCP projects, etc. In the Security Solutions section, we can add non-Azure services, SIEM, and web applications to be monitored with Azure to gain more security and get recommendations to increase the security. Finally, with workflow automation, we can create automated processes using different triggers. Here is all that we have, and there's still more to learn. But for the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Certification Exam, these are the main points we need to cover for Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So for this video, that's all to it. For more details check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success Certified.